Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about glyphs, the best glyphs for new players, mostly since this, a lot of the high tier players already know what glyphs are. It's very tricky for new players, they are unaware of how to do this. Pretty much you need to have your sanctum. The higher the sanctum is, the more of the glyph slots you can unlock. Once you have some of your Sanctum at a good level, you just click on Reanimate and then you click on your heroes. I can't change mine, but you just click it and then you click the slots and then you reanimate. As you can see, the highest one does take 26 days unless you want to use some speed scrolls and then speed it up. Well, that's just pretty much it for that. Many of you have been wondering and asking me, how do you get those cool ancient ones? the bad boy ones right here to actually com complete a set it's very tricky for new players and for free to play players i'm just telling you this honestly you could not get it unless igg has those free events which in the free event you can get the, the glacier heart the academic scroll the party song the jacko fright the hot-blooded fan and the fourth anniversary area and the winter's embrace the, that event that i'm talking about will show up next week since that's when the next update shows up let's go take a look at what the best glyphs are also if you're doing like specific heroes let's say pen requires uh healing and requires that uh, pretty much piercing attacks uh glyphs and then if you want the, doing it on xyphan xyphan requires skill based glyphs so each hero has its own unique set base you just have to take a look same thing with Toxic. Toxic is a skill based. His attacks are alright, but his skill is just what makes him special. Uh, Rainy can't really do that much damage, so you have to do, uh, you have to get some skill glyphs for her. And to get the Siege, there's a good one as well, Siege Master as well, and then uh, pretty much, yeah, skills. Let's go take a look. Uh, I'll tell you the best ones you can possibly get. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you can't really get those Asian ones, so we won't talk about that. If you can, I'm pretty sure you already got to a good point. Adapt, great for pen. Really, really great for pen. Uh, skull crush, so attacks um, have a 60% chance to stun for 6 seconds. Now, you're not going to get some of these glyphs. Trust me, it, it's very, very complicated to get them. Chaotic infusion is uh, great for uh, pen. Life Drinker is the number one best glyph you can get uh, in the game. Literally, besides the, what is it called, the ancient ones. Those ones are tricky, but this is next level. If you can get it maxed out, it leeches 100% of damage dealt by attacks' HP. So this is perfect for pen or a hero that requires HP. Next up is the blood reduces attacker's hero damage by 60%. Hard to get. Uh, Celestial Will is great on uh, any hero that you want to keep alive for a while. Next up is Stun Duration. This one, shake it off. I don't honestly recommend it. But then again, if you get stunned, you can lose 80%. But... It, trust me, it's a lot just to get it to level uh, 30. Chatterbox, again, it's another one that a lot of people don't use since there are better ones uh, equivalent to that. Silence Duration, still, it's I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, Rejuvenation, I definitely recommend this. It, it's definitely a healing uh, glyph. Super good. The Minion Mastery, this is literally only good for Chiron, uh, Pyrel, and uh, good old uh, Imp Mistress. Uh, Diffusion deals additional 10, I mean 100% damage against clones. So this is great if you're going up against uh, the clones that I just talked about. Siege Master is best for Ambrosia and uh, Rini as well, since Ambrosia's Divine can drop all of it down. You know, super, super good. Uh, Blaze of Glory. This is just pretty much, you can put this on any hero and as soon as they go out, 800% of the attack damage will just be going right to the enemies if, if it's they're all in one corner it's perfect even the odds again super good can be on any of the heroes hard to get trust me these even it's hard to get some of these uh the feeler this one is also super hard to get trust me some when i say super hard to get they are hard to get once you get those asian glove boxes you won't you won't get something like this it's it's super hard 
Attacks reduces uh, the HP's uh, recover by 70% for 10 seconds, so super great. Below the belt, I recommend this like on every one of your heroes because of the big thing increases damage against targets with more than 50% uh, HP by 60%. So super good. Best attack, a twist of knife, also really, really good. Super good, I recommend it. The ability rate, <laughs> some of these I can't pronounce. Uh, attacks reduces target zero damage by 60%, attack rate by 60% for 10 seconds. There are better ones you can go with. Hysteria, another one that's a must have on all your heroes. But the big issue with Hysteria is you cannot get it. It is so, so hard just to get Hysteria. You can always put on the gold version or the purple version. And pretty much it's the same thing. Because maxed out increases attack rate by 100% for 10 seconds. Using active or divine skill cooldown. 10 seconds. So pretty much increases attack rate by 100%. Sick, right? Uh, firm footing. It's just 80% chance to ignore pull effects. So pretty much cancels out Ravenger or any of the other heroes that pulls you in. Firm stance, uh, 80% chance. I wouldn't recommend firm stance as well. Recruit the elite, so garbage. Uh, reposit, attack damage. This one is great on Xiphan or pretty much any of the heroes that requires a high skill base. Equilibrium, I recommend this on every single hero you have, even if it's the purple version or the gold version. Literally, it's so, so important, this one. Because the hero's attack plus 10,000, that is... That's right there, super good. And then if, I'm just saying this is like maxed out, but even at a good level, like 10 or 15, it's still really good because why wouldn't you want that much HP? Spring of Life, this is just pretty much an equivalent to Rejuvenation and uh, Life Drinker, but it's just a square version. Recruit of the Tough, I mean, Recruit the Tough is literally trash. Don't even bother with this. Don't even bother with uh, Recruit the Guard as well. Recruit the Fit, don't even bother with that. Recruit the Strong, don't even bother with that. They're trash. They are absolutely trash. Misdirection, great to have for any of the heroes. Honestly, heroic aim, good for any of the heroes that are sitting in the back or just your sharpshooter heroes, your long range heroes. This is perfect for Ambrosia. You can, since she's all the way in the back, this will spam it away. Many of you have been wondering in the comment section, how do you make your attacks faster? Well, this is one of the glyphs you can use is heroic aim makes the hit rate faster so faster hits it won't be very slow redirection attack damage uh, reflected by 50 percent great on any of the heroes but then again you can also get the other glyphs i'm just here just to show you what glyphs are actually good and what are not good repulsion skill damage reflect also really good for any of the heroes you need that are focusing on skill based keen eye great to have critical rate and critical damage butcher is super super good there are there are two other glyphs that i recommend that you should put on all your heroes i'll show you in a second which are these uh got the, the shape of them good old piercing attack this is good for pen if you want to get deadly blows heavy swings is attack damage plus 50 percent super good Heroic Finest skill damage. This is great for any of the heroes that require only skill based. Like their regular attacks are trash, but their skill is like super, super good. So Heroic Finest is perfect for them. Crushing Blow, critical damage again. Good, but there are better ones. Heroic Gilly, critical rate. Great as well. Like all of these shape ones are super good. But it just, you gotta find out which one's the best. Heroic Might, and uh, the best one, of course, is Heroic Strength. <laughs> uh, excuse me but heroic attack i mean a hero attack plus twenty thousand. so mostly a lot of the people use heroic strength for that alone they they do use heroic might as well you can put both of them on if you don't have any uh ancient glyphs highly recommended righteous rights is great for any of the heroes that you do not like their attacks are literally just trash like i said and then it's just mostly focused on skills so Rini has terrible uh, attack rates. Like she won't destroy anything with her attacks. So skill based, the damage reduction, it's perfect. Critical defense, critical resist, and critical damage reduction. 
by 25 percent I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't really recommend this if you have the other choice I, it's all right but I wouldn't recommend it Obstintient. I'm sorry if I mess anything up <laughs> uh, another good one but the biggest one literally for circles one of the biggest ones is Pythias block attacks plus 70 percent now that is super super good the attacks won't hit your heroes till they'll miss and then you'll stay alive longer heroic re resilience great to have but again i wouldn't recommend putting too much effort in the heroic will critical damage great to have heroic cunning critical resist i wouldn't recommend this one honestly heroic guard is hero's damage reduced great to have and then finally but last least heroic vitality this one is also good to have if your hero is just focusing on um if like they have low low hp and they require a lot so you can put heroic vitality on but uh, that's pretty much it for all of the glyphs i think i explained them all which ones are good and which ones are bad uh, let me know if you need any more questions like i said those are really hard to get you can the only way literally to get those ones of course is just by by spending a lot of jewels there also is this shop right here where yes yeah, if you spend them um, if you do like um, gleaning you get the shards so you can see i have a couple souls we'll test it out so you can see seven nine i'm out of souls and then you use that as you can see thirty thousand to get the redirection you can always just click you don't have to go for it so attack damage reflected i wouldn't recommend wasting your um, shards on like these ones when you see something that's really good like life drinker or equilibrium i it's it's well worth it and again don't waste uh, don't waste it on the purple or the golds just always save up for the reds those those are the best ones literally for it but i'm pretty sure that i explained everything this is like a simple guide and yeah that's just my opinion on them and trust me this requires a lot just to level it up honestly it, it literally requires so much work actually while we're here let me just see if i can get anything good out of this we can get uh, again if you get to the five right here as you can see chance to get an ancient glyph your gleaning tier will return back to regular let's grab that let's see if i can get to it oh we got four now Sometimes literally it won't go to the five. It'll take days and ages just to get to five. So you just gotta be very patient. It does require a lot of uh, good old resources. I always recommend using the orbs of gleaning right over here since it's just a lot easier and there's no, you don't lose that much resources in it. Uh, hopefully I uh, showcased or explained, uh, in my opinion, what are the best uh, reds or as you can see best glyphs uh, somewhat <laughs> uh, if you have any questions you can always let me know if you think this video is just terrible you can always just let me know in the comment section i would love to hear your opinion i just want to get five that's literally all i want to finally yeah you see you can always get gold it doesn't really matter if you don't have red you can just the equivalent to that is gold and if you don't have gold the equivalent to that is purple and pretty much all the reds are in uh, purple and gold as well so Feel free just to copy that and as you can see I got a couple. Life Drinker again is so hard to actually get. It's incredibly hard but I do recommend Life Drinker on all of your heroes. With that being said if you did enjoy the video subscribe, like the video and I will talk to you all in the next one. Take care.